I nearly fainted when we were trying to pay for the ticket to get up here, which by the way was 90 pounds. 47 for one night. 47 pounds for one night. I do not like this road and it goes on for like 20 kilometers. Look at the pizza. We um, stayed at a campsite last night, just outside Coma. Here it is. We're off to Interlaken in Switzerland today, which should be good. We're gonna go up a mountain, see some nice views. But first we're gonna go to a camping shop because Shane forgot his bag. And also we wanna buy a portable toilet so that we can stay on more airs. Let's see if we can get ourselves a toilet. A few moments later. They didn't have any toilets. They, it doesn't look like they sell them. But she ain't got a new backpack. So that's good, he can carry his own stuff around now. We're in Switzerland now, so we just had to pull over and buy our vignette to put in the windscreen. So it's like 40 euros to drive on the motorway. Why can't I think about me? All these things will do. So we're on our way to Inter, Interlaken, Larken, Interlaken. Come across this uh, lake on the way, so we stopped, stopped over, take a look, and um, people's just chilling on the bench. So we're just going to chill here for a bit. There you go, got aim up really awkward. Um, but we're now going up the cable car thing now. I fell over. My leg hurts. It's really sore. Like really sore and it's bleeding. And she threw water on me because I said she's like a one-year-old. Because I, I also nearly fainted when we were trying it's to pay. It's a tiny bruise. Yeah, but when I cut myself, I faint. And so I cut myself, I like fell over, I hurt my knee, and nearly fainted when we were trying to pay for the ticket to get up here, which by the way was 90 pounds, but I was in no state to be like... 90 euros. No, 90, 90 pounds. Oh, was it 90 pounds? It was 120 Swiss franc. Um, but yeah, so we just, I just paid it and then I had to leave Shane to deal with the rest of it because I was gonna faint. And then I asked him for water and he was just like, you're like a one year old. <sighs> it wouldn't check. Mm. Still going up, getting higher and higher. They do have, um, we well, probably hear a river at the moment, and then they do, they've got like a downhill trike. We're gonna have a look at it, but seeing as this cost £90 already, I imagine it's probably gonna be quite high in price. We're at the top, and it's a short walk, and then there's um, this just over here, uh, lift, up, lift up walk, and go, just gotta go do it. So the video had to be kind of stopped. So we're now at a campsite somewhere in Switzerland, down by Interlaken, on um, what was it? Something Lake, Beans Lake. Who knows? Beans Benz, Benz, 
Benzil, I don't know, Benzil Lake, I don't something think like it's that. that. And it's apparently going to cost us um, about forty pound, forty Great British pound 40, for one night. It was forty-seven. Forty-seven for one night. Forty-seven pound for one night. We had a look around. Campsites in Switzerland are blooming expensive. The shops even expensive. Wait, we're not eating that. That's for, that's for washing. Um, but here's a random selection of goods we brought to eat today, and we've got some stuff in the fridge as well. Um, but yeah, that, that was quite expensive as well. That was 38. <laughs> anyway, uh, we're going to go to the river. So we just went to plug our electric in, which is like the standard three pin plug socket. But in Switzerland, they use these weird things. <laughs> so we had to go to reception and hire a converter, which converts it to a European plug. So luckily we've got a European converter to plug it in. So we do that, and that, Woo! we should now have electric. Let's go see. Oh yeah, this is our little pitch by the way. Our van. This is the campsite. Oh, that's cold. Isn't it? I thought it was freezing. Yeah. No, that's enough, my feet are freezing. Good news, um, the campsite ended up being 10, 10 <laughs> Swiss francs. Cheaper than we expected, um, so that's probably saved us about 2p. No, it was 35 pounds, instead okay. of like 50 pounds. Okay, so it was 35 pounds, even though we will budget in about a maximum of like 12 pounds. 20 was like the maximum. Yeah, 12 pounds was kind of like what we were kind of aiming for per um, campsite, 20 maximum. So today, with everything else we've done today, we believe we've spent over £200. So, a large chunk of all of our campsite allowance in one day. But um, the bright side is, um, this um, lake is right behind us, right at the campsite. So the campsite is just here, and the lake is just here. So we're just chilling here at the moment. Look what we found in the shop. Some vegetarian schnitzels we went for the mozzarella and pesto ones so we're having them with i'm gonna make some potato wedges and then some salad so there's our dinner homemade potato wedges salad and a vegetarian schnitzel we're finished in switzerland now so we're just about to fill the van up with water again and then head off to italy we're gonna to go to bellagio which is on Lake Como, which I think is about two and a half hours away from here. Apparently we're headed to the Gotthard Road Tunnel, which is one of the longest tunnels in Europe, or Switzerland, or maybe even the world, I don't know. It's like 10 miles. We thought the other one was bigger, like 6 miles. This one's 10. So yeah. We'll get a video as we're about to go in. Why not? I've got my orders. The radio has been hijacked. We would like to welcome you in the tunnel of the road to the Saint-Gaul. Hello, welcome to the Gotthard Road Tunnel. Please wait for the next station. Keep your radio tuned to this frequency for the latest police announcements. Look at the views. We're headed to Italy. So amazing. Italy! <laughs> Is that your Italian? Yeah. Ciao, grazie. <laughs> that's, that's as much Italian as I know. I missed the Italy sign, but we're in Italy now. We just crossed the border into Como. So now we're heading to Bellagio. This road is horrendous. It's like single file the whole way. We, we're behind a bus and now the bus has just come across another bus. I do not like this road and it goes on for like 20 kilometers. 
the bus trying to scoot down the edge of the cliff. I don't like country roads at the best of times. I'm always hoping they're going to get past each other. But this is just horrendous. It's like a cliff and then like a cliff down and then a cliff up. Oh, I think they might be doing it. Um, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. We made it. Can see the picture. My dad and a bottle of liquor. Left home that December. Been years, but I still remember. Pack my bag. How's your ice cream? Really nice. I got coconut and lemon. We've just arrived at the campsite for the night. This is our view, literally from our pit. There's our van. Then there's a the little Pretoria over there looks so cute, like proper Italian. And then the view. Guys, look what we bought. We found one in Interlaken this morning. So this is just at the end of the campsite. We're in a little beach. Oh, look at my knee from where I fell yesterday. Not good. How nice is this view? And there's our van. Hello little duck. <gasps> We're at the campsite restaurant. Look at the pizza. Shane's got courgette and aubergine and peppers. I've got tuna and onion. How amazing is this view? Look at that.